Here we have a typical Apollo server setup. There is a function that generates a random ID. We have an array of posts. We have some type definitions for a post, query, and mutation. And we have some basic resolvers. The resolver query returns the array of posts, and the mutation has one mutation create posts that returns a new post with the automatically generated ID. In this file, we'll just set up the server and run it. And on localhost port 4000 with the default port, we will be able to run a query to get all of the post ID, title, body, and category. If we run that query, we'll see the result is returned. Nothing out of the ordinary here so far. What we'd like to do next is we would like to transform the title to include the category as a prefix. And then um, we would like to transform the category to be uppercase. And we can do this with GraphQL middleware. GraphQL middleware is a popular library by the guys over at Prisma. And this allows you to do things before and after each resolver is ran. So what we'll find in their example here is we're able to run a console log inside of each resolver before and after the actual resolver resolves. It's very easy to install if you're using GraphQL Yoga. It has GraphQL middleware built in, but if you're using Apollo Server like we are, we can just run yarn add GraphQL middleware. So let's do that next. Inside of my code editor, I am going to open up the terminal and I'm going to run yarn add GraphQL middleware. With this installed, it adds it to my package JSON. It's a dependency of my project. Next, I'm going to require the GraphQL middleware dependency in my file. Now inside of my file here, I just need to change the way that the Apollo server is instantiated. All I need to do is create a new const called schema and use this make executable schema function. And this is from Apollo server itself. So again, nothing out of the ordinary just yet. We can now take our type definitions and resolvers and place those in that object. We next need to create this middleware and this will be an array. And then on line 51, we just need to create a new const schema with middleware. And all this does is uses the, uses the apply middleware function that we got for free when we installed GraphQL middleware dependency. Apply middleware takes our schema and then an array of all of our other middleware. And finally, we now need to remove type defs and resolvers from our server and instantiate Apollo server with our schema with middleware. And finally, we'll just import that make executable schema that we needed below to define our schema. And now let's start our server and on the default port, 4000, we should be able to see our GraphQL playground. And as you'll see, nothing changes. Everything still works. We have a schema being defined that has middleware, but for now, there is no middleware. We'll do that now. Now let's stop our server, Control C, and inside of our index.js file, inside of our middleware array, we'll just add in post middleware, and let's define the post middleware. Post middleware will now look at our root post type and we'll attach to the category a new function called uppercase category. And this new function is what we'll be using as part of our GraphQL middleware, and it's what GraphQL middleware expects to look for. It expects resolve the parent, any arguments, context, and the info object. Then this function, it will await the resolve function take in and pass along the parent, any arguments, the context and info, and we can return that result. And finally, because we're gonna be uppercase the category, all we need to do now is just do result dot to uppercase, and this will return an uppercase category for our query. If we start the server and run the query again, we should see that the category is now uppercase. Now let's define the middleware and resolver for the actual title itself of all posts. So inside of the post middleware, we will now assign a new middleware to the query posts and we'll call this posts middleware. Let's create a new middleware resolver called posts middleware and using all of the same params as before, we'll pass this to a new function called post middleware and inside of this function, we will uh, declare a result and that will just await the resolve that will go away and resolve the resolver and it will return a new result. Now inside of the post middleware we want to return the formatted posts so let's go ahead and define a new formatted post const and this const will uh, use a reduce function in JavaScript and this will get our results and the results is an array at this point so the reduce function returns a new array 
and we want to create a new array based off the formatted post array. So we need to create an object, we spread in all of the current post, but we are going to modify the output title. We're going to prefix the title with the category using template literals. With that done, we can start the server and on port 4000, we can run our GraphQL query and we should see that the title has now been prefixed with tutorial and category is uppercase as we defined earlier. So this has been a short video on how you can use GraphQL middleware of the Apollo server. And if you want more information about GraphQL middleware, head over to the GitHub repo where you can find out all of the usage instructions, some examples and other libraries that are using this under the hood. I'll be doing another video soon covering GraphQL Shield, which is a GraphQL middleware library itself for authorization. So look out for that one. Thanks very much.